Welcome to Fairview Home Infusion. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly administer gancyclovir at home using a closed system transfer device. The safety device you will be using to connect and disconnect your medication is called an Equishield closed system transfer device. It is a special connector used with drugs that would be hazardous if they leaked out or vaporized and were breathed into the lungs. Gancyclovir is considered a hazardous drug and the special connector prevents any accidental exposure. A Fairview Home Infusion nurse will be present for the initial instruction and available by phone for questions for your future infusions. There are two parts to the device, the male and female connectors. There is a small red cap on the end of the female connector to keep it clean. Before getting started, wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use a hand sanitizer. Identify the area you will be working at. Choose an area that is flat and can be cleaned with soap and water or disinfectant. Clean the surface and let it air dry. Begin by gathering your supplies. For this process, you will need your medicine ball, the provider orders, tape, gloves, hand foam, alcohol wipes, 10 milliliter saline solution syringe, male Equishield connector, female Equishield connector, which is already attached to the medicine ball. Once you have all your supplies together, Compare your orders with the label on the medicine ball. Check for correct patient name and birth date, correct drug name and dose, look for the discard after date on the label, look for any leaks or floating specs. If there are any concerns, call Fairview Home Infusion to report the issue. Wash or sanitize your hands again and apply gloves. Remove any air from the saline syringe, taking care not to contaminate the tip. Using an alcohol wipe, vigorously scrub the hub of the blue end cap on your IV line for 15 seconds and let it air dry without touching anything. Twist the syringe onto the blue end cap at the end of your IV line. If you have a clamp on your line, unclamp it now. Flush the line using a push-pause method. Twist off the syringe when complete. Open the male connector using care not to contaminate the ends. Using a new alcohol wipe, scrub the blue end cap again for 15 seconds and let it air dry without touching it. Carefully attach the male connector to the blue cap and twist on. Take another clean alcohol wipe and scrub the end of the male connector for 15 seconds and let it air dry. Without touching the male connector, remove the red protective cap from the end of the medication tubing. Look for the three red lines on both pieces and line them up. With the lines matching, press the connector together until you hear a small clicking sound. You are ready to begin your infusion. For home pump infusions, simply open the clamp to start the infusion. Look for a flow restrictor on the tubing and tape it to the skin with the tape provided. Your medicine ball will infuse medication at the prescribed rate. The total infusion time will be on the label of the medicine ball. Monitor your infusion progress by watching the ball deflate. 
Your infusion is complete when you can see that the balloon inside the ball has deflated around the cylinder. If the medicine ball does not deflate as expected, double check to make sure all clamps are open. If the clamps are open and the medication is not infusing, call Fairview Home Infusion. If you have any questions, please call Fairview Home Infusion at 612-672-2233. We have nurses and pharmacists on call and ready to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. Disconnecting Gancyclovir. When your infusion is complete, you will follow similar steps to prepare for disconnection. Begin by gathering your supplies. For this process, you will need gloves, hand foam, alcohol wipes, a 10 milliliter saline solution syringe, female Equishield connector, heparin if ordered, and a hazardous waste container. Clean your hands and apply gloves. Remove any air from the saline syringe, taking care not to contaminate the tip. Open the female connector and attach to the saline syringe. You can set this down on the clean dry surface. Remove tape from the flow restrictor now. To disconnect the medication line, grasp the connector with the three red lines up. Press down on the round white button on the male connector and pull the female and male connectors apart. This takes a little strength. When you have the medication disconnected, discard in the hazardous waste container. If your medicine is attached to an electronic pump, disconnect the tubing from the pump and place everything except the electronic pump in the container. Scrub the hub of the male connector with an alcohol wipe for 15 seconds and let air dry. Remove the red protective cap from the female connector that is connected to the saline flush. Line up the red lines on the connectors and press on the female connector until you hear a small clicking sound. Flush the line with saline using a push-pause method. Disconnect the entire EquiShield device with the empty syringe attached from the blue end cap by squeezing the sides of the male connector and twisting. Take care not to remove the blue cap place in the hazardous waste container. Some patients only need to flush with saline. If you have orders to flush with heparin or citrate, scrub the blue end cap again with an alcohol pad for a full 15 seconds and allow to dry. Remove the protective cap from the syringe and remove any air. Twist the pre-filled syringe to the blue end cap and flush. Close the clamp on your line. Please call Fairview Home Infusion if you have any questions at 612-672-2233. We have nurses and pharmacists on call and ready to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. Thank you for watching this Fairview Home Infusion video. We welcome your feedback. Please like this video and share a comment below.